welcome to my YouTube. So this is my first video and I wanted to start it off with a little Q&A, get to know me as well as I get ready with me. So I popped up a question box on my Instagram and I got loads of questions so I'm going to answer them and do my makeup. So I hope you enjoy and yeah I'm just going to get started. So I've got my hair pinned back, I've got everything laid out here in front of me and I have questions. So I'm just going to get started. The foundation I'm going to use is the Carter Beauty Full Measure and this is in the shade Creme Brulee. So I'm just going to start off with the easy question. So that is my age, where did I grow up and my height? I am 23. My birthday is in June so I'm a Gemini. I am exactly 172 centimetres which is just short of 5'8". So I'm quite tall and where am I from? So I grew up in Donegal which leads me on to my next question is where am I living now? So I am currently living in Galway. Um, I've been here for nearly a year and a half now. I'm loving Galway. It's so nice here and it's always so busy and there's always loads to do and there's nice restaurants. There's honestly a list of things, especially from where I'm from in Donegal, it's quite quiet. So it's nice to have that different kind of atmosphere here. I love it. For concealer, I'm using the Catrice Camouflage. I love this concealer, it's so inexpensive and it's brilliant. The next question is, do you always want to live in Ireland? So. I definitely want to travel this time next year, so like January of 2020, 2022, me and my boyfriend plan to go to Australia. We're obviously only going to be there for a year or two, like I definitely plan to settle in Ireland. I can't imagine permanently living anywhere other than Ireland. I love it here. <laughs> so yes, I do see myself living somewhere other than Ireland, but I don't see myself Satin somewhere other than Ireland. Blend, blend. I'm just using the Flormar contour stick in the shade two. And I'm just drawing that all over my face. Okay, so the next question is favorite food and if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? So I feel like they go under the same kind of category. So I'll answer them together. Maybe they don't go under the same category because if I ate my favorite food over and over, I would get sick of it. So, Okay, I'm going to answer them, but they're probably going to be two different answers. So, a food that I could eat for the rest of my life is 110% pasta. Anything pasta with anything on it, delish. I could live on that. I could eat pasta three meals a day. So, that's definitely one that I could eat for the rest of my life because I know I wouldn't get sick of it. But my favourite food... I think it has to be... I love like Tex-Mex, like burritos. And I love Indian food. So between those two is definitely my favourite. Like you can't go wrong with a korma. Oh. So this is my holy grail product. I flip and love this. It is so amazing. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I wear this on its own. I wear it under my foundation. I wear it over my foundation. It's so versatile. I love it. Like you can literally put it on at any stage of your makeup. And it's amazing. I'm just going to pop that on now on my cheekbones, forehead chin lip nose i just see i have a question to fave takeaway so i literally just answered that um indian and uh, tex-mex okay so what's one thing i couldn't live without i'm not gonna say like obviously my family my friends my phone i feel like they're obvious answers but one personal thing that i could not live without i think is my skincare I actually couldn't go a day like i actually can't go anywhere without my skincare i just can't do it <laughs> I just love it so much and it is literally one of the most important steps of my day. So yeah, it would have to be skincare, definitely, or toothbrush. <laughs> I don't know, can you see that glow? Oh my God, I love this product. So next I'm going to bronze. So I'm using the Inglot Freedom System Bronzer. This is in shade 73. And a big fluffy brush. I feel like bronzer is definitely one I couldn't live without either. I sometimes just wear bronzer if I don't feel like putting on makeup. Just to give your skin a bit of colour. Next I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. 
So if I could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Okay, so I have two answers for this. The first place that I would love to live is Greece. A few years ago, me and my friends went there and we did some island hopping and it's just gorgeous. It's so nice and the food is unbelievable. So I definitely would like to live there. Or, like I feel like I really love Donegal too, like I can't wait to live there again. Like your friends are there, your family's there. I just feel like you can't go wrong being on like on your home ground as well. Is that really boring to say that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera because I cannot multitask. Favorite holiday destination you've already been and somewhere that you want to go? By the way, for my eyebrows, I use this brow artist kit by L'Oreal and I don't think they sell this anymore, which I'm gutted about. And I'm just gonna dust away my powder and just rebronze a little bit. So my favorite holiday destination was Thailand, me and my boyfriend Keelan went. So summer of 2019 we went there and we went for two weeks and we traveled around. We did um, some of the islands and we did Bangkok and Phuket and I loved it. Like I actually cannot wait to go back. We actually did plan on going back summer 2020 but obviously with COVID. The people are lovely, the food is nice, the scenery, the weather. It's actually just amazing. That is definitely my favorite holiday destination I've been. Somewhere that I'd like to go, I would love to go to Vietnam and Cambodia. I think I'd like to see New York as well. And obviously Australia, I cannot wait to see Australia. So yeah, there's actually loads of places that I want to see. So I can't wait till COVID ends and we can travel again. So the blush I'm using is Milani in Rosa Romantica. So it's like a peachy shimmery blush. I actually love this. Let's see what else we have here. Alcohol beverage of choice. Gin and tonic, all day, every day. A glass of white wine or porn star martini. In the first lockdown, I bought the ingredients to make porn star martinis and they're actually so much nicer when you make them at home. A little bit on the nose. First thing I wanna do when lockdown ends travel see my family and you know i'm not really that pushed about the bars opening but i really just want to go for a nice meal that's one thing i really miss is just someone cooking for me do people still curl their eyelashes i feel like it was such a dumb thing when i was growing up if i don't curl my eyelashes they literally just point down the way but i feel like in makeup tutorials now i don't see girls like curling their eyelashes One done, two done. So I'm not doing any eye makeup just because I'm not doing anything. So for lip liner, I'm using this Penny's lip liner. I'm not even sure what shade this is and it's nearly running out, but I love it. And I'm using the Huda Beauty Girls Trip Matte Lipstick. So favorite clothing shops and websites. So my favorites are Bershka, Urban Outfitters, H&M. I love H&M. I feel like it's so underrated and they have such nice things on there and it's so affordable as well. In the last like two years, I think it's from when I've left college, I don't really shop for clothes online anymore. Like when I was back in college, if I knew there was a night coming up, like I would get an outfit or I'd buy something like but I definitely say since I left college, I don't do that anymore. I feel like I don't care as much about rewearing clothes. Yeah, but definitely Bershka, Urban Outfitters, h and I'm trying to think what else. I like Topshop, but I don't shop there very often. So what did I want to be when I was younger? I think when I was in primary school, I changed my mind quite a lot, but I remember so clearly that in sixth class, when I was in sixth class of primary school, I wanted to be a hairdresser and that's actually what I did. I was very lucky, like all through secondary school, I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't really have that stress in fifth year and leaving cert, like thinking, what the hell do I wanna do? I already knew. And I actually had got into my hairdressing course before I even did my leaving cert. So I feel like I was definitely really lucky in that sense. So somebody asked me as well, how come you left hairdressing? So if you didn't know, I now am a beautician in Galway. To be honest, I loved hairdressing, but I did it first. So when I left school, I did hairdressing and then I worked in a hairdressers for nearly four years. But when I was leaving the hairdressers, I had just got my 
qualifications to be a beauty therapist so I wanted to go straight and get experience in that since I'd already got my experience in hairdressing. I do miss hairdressing but it's a really good skill to have and like hopefully I'll be able to bring that with me to Australia as well. And I'm going to answer one last question because it's kind of in relation to the last one. So if you could go back in time to leave insert, would you study anything different? And that is no, I wouldn't. I loved what I did. I love what I do. I'm so happy I went on and did hairdressing and I'm so happy I did it where I did it. So yeah, I wouldn't change anything. And it's just crazy to me that that was like six years ago, was it? Oh my god. This September, it'll be seven years since my first year of college. What the hell? Why is time going so quick? But yeah, that's all the questions I'm going to answer today. So this is also my finished makeup look. This is my day-to-day -day kind of makeup look. I don't do anything too crazy. Thanks to everyone who sent in some questions as well. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. I'll also leave my Instagram below if you wanted to go and follow me. And it would be amazing if you could subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye.